Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 268 in Candy Crush Saga as a special dedication to Sandy, who has let me know that we've had a reduction of moves. We used to have 30 and now we only have 19 to complete this. Frustrating. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to get these two ingredients down to here. That means we're going to have to reach to the corners. Everything I do, I'm going to have to try to reach into the corners. Now, I get a reshuffle anytime the board doesn't give me an opportunity to make a match. That's a fairly standard thing. I want to contemplate each and every move I have. Should I do the blue over here, which would take these out? Or should I do the orange over here, which would take these out? This is a personal preference for me. I tend to get stuck on the left-hand side more than I do on the right-hand side. I just naturally think it's because I'm a reader an avid reader, and so my brain goes from the left to the right. And so it's usually easier for me to reach this area. So I'm going to focus more on this area. Plus, here's another consideration. I only have three orange on the board, but I have four blue. Four blue means I have a slightly better chance of making a special once I get more things open here, or even just a match if I can get more blue to come down so I can make a cascade. So I'm going to take out the orange, which depletes the board from all the orange except when more comes in. And now I've got this. Now look at this. I've got ticking time bomb set at five. Not pleasant. And here I only have one move I can make. Hopefully another blue will come down. No. And I have to abandon this side of the board. I don't have any turns over here. So Sandy, this is where the game is a bit unfair, huh? I mean, they, they restrict our movement and then they make it really tough for us with these ticking time bombs. But now I've got some area over here. Now since the the ticking time bombs over on this side, I kind of want to focus over here because I want to take these out. I could make a stripe and that would help through here. It's not a bad choice, but instead I'm going to take out the frosting that's over here and keep trying to get this going. I'm going to set this up. I see that I've got more purple I can bring in if I need to. That worked out on its own. Now I've got this stripe. Now look at this. If I could get an orange here or here, then I could get a color bomb, and color bombs are kind of fantastic. It's a bit of a long shot, but since I have two slots, I'm going to go for it, and it worked right away. I didn't even have to make an extra move. So now if I get into any trouble with these ticking time bombs, I can just take out a color and concentrate things down, because this is getting to be a bit nerve-wracking. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's take out all purple from the board. It concentrates the colors down. It gives me a better shot at getting other things done. I'll make a special, even though it's not fantastic. I'm trying to reach over. If I could get an orange here, that would be good, but I don't have that option. Let's take out that dangerous ticking time bomb. And then I'm going to use the specials I have on the board now, because now I've got this open field and I've only got four colors. So now that the field is open, I'll have a much better chance of getting through all of this with some specials to help me. You see how prolific this board then becomes. Still probably not enough to get this done, but I'm reaching for it. Stripe draft combo is good. So now I'm seeing exactly how much work is going to be needed to take care of this. It's a hard level. I'm not surprised I didn't beat it on the first try. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board, and work even more on getting those combos. So I'm going to worry, instead of getting to the edges now, I'm going to work on making a bigger field. Every time we play win or lose, we hope to learn things that will help us. I'm revising my strategy because that one didn't work. I was still really far away, and I saw hope for something better. So I'll be right back with a new board and a new approach. Well, this setup looks very familiar. <laughs> Got another reshuffle. I don't want to bring down these... Um, ticking time bombs if I can stop it, but I don't know that I'll be able to stop it because I'm working on this center here, right? So now I'm making the specials that can help me. I'm ignoring this a bit. I know it's dangerous, but I need specials and I need combos. Now look at how open this is. Have you ever seen a wrapped wrapped combo go? Because it's pretty fun. It has a nice big blast radius. Mostly a wrapped candy will go the eight squares around it. But when you combine them, not only do you have now a longer field, so I go further out, but also it goes two away. 
And so I go all the way up here, all the way out here, all the way out here, all the way down here. And then uh, for this one, all the way down here, plus then these will drop and they'll go even further. Once they're dropped into this position, they'll go all the way down to here. So it's going to be kind of spectacular. Also, this should drop down lower and then get removed. It's really going to be a big blast there. Notice that guy is still terribly trapped. I'm not all that thrilled with that, but I'm making progress here, making these specials that can help and just allowing them to kind of clear this board for me. I do have this difficulty and I'm going to try to bring things into position. There we go. So I'm not there yet, but I'm so much closer than I was. Is there any way to bring a blue to make a color bomb here or a color bomb here? I don't quite see it. I think I'm just going to keep blowing things up. I could make this stripe here, but I think instead I'm going to set this stripe off and blow things up and allow the specials to come in on their own. Now I've got this. And now what? Oh, I really want to set this up with something special. I can't. I could try to bring that down. I'm going to just take out all purple from the board and concentrate these colors because when I take out a color, then I'm even more likely to get the specials I need. That didn't work as beautifully as I had hoped. What should I do? I'm going to do this and go for some cascading here. All right, this might work because look at all of this fun stuff that's happening now. It's just kind of crazy taking over. There we go. We're going to blast that out, and then I'll have one more strike to make on this. And I can do it in a couple of different ways. I can bring this green down, which would remove this, and this would fall into place. I could take it out with a stripe draft combo. Lots of different opportunities here. I'm going to go with the simple one. Just easily slide that down into position. So that was my second playthrough. And notice that I learned from my first attempt and tried to determine what went wrong. And actually, it wasn't what went wrong. It was after I started making some space, what went right. I noticed how prolific the board was. And so I decided on my second attempt, I was going to use that to my best advantage. Even if you know what needs to happen, it's still hard to see those patterns. And it's still hard to make the very best choices. It's a very chaotic board. And uh, sometimes it's still hard to wait for the right amount of luck. But if you start with a good strategy and you're persistent, you'll get done with it. So I hope this helps, Sandy. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.